the summer because it's easier to pick out my gay brothers. The winter, it's hard because everyone looks gay in the winter. If you are wearing the wrong shoes and it's slippery and you're running for the bus, <laughs> it's hard to tell. But in the summer, it's easier because we change into our new official uniform, which is the sleeveless t-shirt. Okay. I don't know what it is. My people, we don't like sleeves. We're very upset. As soon as the weather gets above 20 degrees for more than two seconds, like, get off these shackles of oppression! Get them off! <laughs> Hate it. We don't like them. So, uh, yeah, so straight boys, those aren't for you anymore. <laughs> they're not. They're for us. It's <laughs> how we find each other. Could be awkward. <laughs> I'm just saying, oh, God. So, okay, but if you do want to wear them, if you do want to wear your little sleeveless tee, show off your little muscly arms, do me a favor and trim the fur back. A little bit. Like, you don't have to shave your pits, but, you know, like, it shouldn't blow in the breeze behind you. It's not a good look. If you get out of the pool and it's stuck to your back, it's too long, man. It's too long. It should not look like you got a little Italian baby in a headlock all the time. Let it go. Sleeveless tee. We used to have jean shorts. That was our thing. Yeah, we got rid of that. Couldn't do that. Oh. And then in the 80s, you remember this in the 80s? Uh, where if you got like one ear pierced, it meant that you were gay. All of a sudden when guys were starting to get their ears pierced. And I remember I was like grade four, grade five, and some kid came from holiday and he had his ear pierced and it was the wrong side. And everyone's like, homo! And I was like, homo, get him! Get him! So gay, that one, look at him! Get him! No, don't worry about me, I'm just gonna go skip with my ladies. I'm like, I'm just skipping. What? It's not gay. I don't have any earring in. That's gay. But here's what I learned. In the 70s, if you had one ear pierced, it meant that you were a drug dealer. Isn't that fascinating? That's wicked. But I think it would have led to some very awkward conversations in 1982. <laughs> hey man, you selling? Oh, sweetie, what are you looking for? What are you... You, uh, you got anything to smoke? Like, oh, I got something you can smoke. You don't even know. Like a dime bag or something? Oh, you can have the whole thing, honey. You can have it. Ah! <laughs> Delicious.